Tracy. <laughs> Short selling is a very simple process really whereby you're actually going to be selling a stock on the basis you can buy it back a little bit later at a lower price and the difference then being therefore you can actually make a profit doing that. Now in order to sell something you don't own then you'd normally actually have to own you have to go and borrow it from someone so there's a market there you go to the institutions, borrow some stock, sell it in the market, buy it back later and then you can give it back to the person who actually owns it. What I think is an issue is we start to see people banning short selling on a knee-jerk reaction without actually looking into it, when this is a perfectly acceptable practice for firms to be able to operate and invest in. Disclosure is going to be very difficult to enforce because actually what it takes is a level of people actually wishing to comply. It's only going to be with the benefit of hindsight when they say, oh, hang on a second, you were short selling here and you didn't disclose it and therefore you're going to get fined. Now, how much they get fined, we have no idea at the moment. It'll depend on a case-by-case -case basis. Stanley one? Yep. Uh, there's Morgan Stanley, disclosure, short position relating to securities subject to a rights issue. Government intervention very rarely actually helps here. Um, governments are there to actually lay the overall guidelines. It's better that the industry's regulator, representing the, in the industry, populated by the industry, operating within the law, guides it. They, after all, have a better understanding of what's going on, as eminently demonstrated by Mr Darling's inability to understand the real processes of short selling. Mm. 